cut splines in here. Of course, we will come back and still cut splines in these. But the splines themselves, we noticed when we were cutting them out, Austin noticed and everybody else in the shop noticed from listening to it too, that they were hardened. And the case hardening doesn't didn't surprise us, but we ran into a little problem with wiping out our uh, cutter that we were starting to make splines with. So we counterbored this a little bit, hoping to get through the case hardening. Again, we didn't want to tear it all apart, and uh, but that's the other option would be to take it apart and anneal the piece so that it's soft. Um, since it did cut some here, I'm thinking that we'll be okay since we're through the case hardening, we believe, by counterboring that. Uh, this particular type of slaughter, uh, you can't use carbide tooling with it, so you're limited on how hard of materials you can cut. We did a Rockwell test on the top of this before we counterboard it. We didn't try testing it before we tried cutting it. We wanted to ruin a tool first instead of doing testing. Uh, sometimes we just do things that way instead. It's so much more cost effective to ruin things than to actually test. <laughs> it's an option, you know. There's, there's. <clears throat> That's the whole thing with these one-offs. You just, you have to make decisions and there's, it's a lot easier sometimes when you're making a thousand or something because you just set up your stock so that you have 10 more to start with. And somewhere in there you have 10 of your items get ruined and you go, oh well, it doesn't matter. It's a lot harder when you only have one of something. But anyway, you need to use high-speed steel with this because when it drags backwards, there's no relief on the bit. If the bit could come away from the cut and clear totally, then you could use carbide. We have a big shaper that we have modified so that it will use carbide, but it's not in the shop because you don't have that much shop room and this job is not really worth bringing it in for. It, uh, it's a pretty big unit. <laughs>